Hello people! I am currently drowning in amazing games the past few days um, and this is one of them and I've just realised I don't really know how to pronounce the title of it but I'm gonna go with Sokobond? Sokobond? Sokobond. But yeah, it's really cool. It's a puzzle game and it's based on chemistry of all things. But yeah, it's super cool and really well made. Um, it looks like this. Or the level selects looks like this. You start off down here, you don't know about the other colours. Um, and it starts off nice and simple in this little yellow area. It gradually eases you in. Um, from the yellow area it went to the red area and the different colours seem to introduce a different mechanic so the red area teaches you about splitting um, bonds I should say that the point of the game is to make bonds um, and you're taking elements and combining them to create new substances um, but yeah the different colours are different mechanics and then the different shades of that colour are kind of like the advanced puzzles for that mechanic. Um, so I'll jump in and show you the first one that's really simple, uh, as the first one should be. But yeah, visually it's very simple but very crisp and very nice. I really love the visuals on it. It's so clean. Um, this hydrogen down here is me. Um, the one with the dashed line is always you and you can see the circles orbiting and that's how many bonds each element can make and I love that you can tell everything you need to know just from looking at it. There's nothing unnecessary on the screen um, and you just move with the arrow keys and that's all there is to it. So, nice and simple, this one, it's impossible to mess up, I think. And there you go, you've made H2O, and it gives you a little fact each time you make something. Um, it's very nice. The first few are all like, really simple. This is the first one you can mess up, because you can stick the two hydrogens together, and then you can't possibly make any more bonds. So I think that's the lesson to be learned from this one. But if you look in the top left there, you can see it's easy enough, like I can go back a step with Z, or if I hit R, it'll rewind every step and look really cool. Um, so instead of bonding with that other hydrogen and leaving nothing left for anyone else, we'll go and pick up the oxygen. And then we've got H2O again. And another nice fact. Uh, so I'll do one more in yellow. And this is the first one that shows you how ones with their bonds used up can still be useful to nudge others out of the way without reacting with them. So yeah, like I said, water is the simplest one so you make it quite often um, but then these ones over here were very tricky or these ones towards the end of it were very tricky these ones were okay because once you get into the rhythm of it it's not too bad um, as with most puzzle games some you'll just see instantly and others you'll bang your head against for ages um, but basically the way you unlock new areas is if you look in the top right there's those arrows and if you do the puzzle in front of those it opens up the next area um, and one thing I really like about the design is that you're never just stuck on one puzzle you can like right now I have a choice of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven puzzles, so if one of them is impossible for me to get past, I can always go and try some of the others and come back to it fresh later on. Uh, which is really nice because you just there's some games I've never gone back to because a particular part was too hard and that was my limit. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how things differ in the red area. Um, you see the title of the level in the bottom left, which usually, or maybe not usually, but has been giving me a slight hint as to what you need to do in each level. In this one, it just flat out tells you. So you can see that addition of the little red cross, and the little red cross just lets you break bonds. Um, so. Kind of went the long way around, but never mind. Bit more H2O, but even more facts about H2O. So that's good. Um, I'm not going to show too much of this game, obviously, because it's a puzzle game, so you don't want it all ruining. And um, yeah, it's it's really hard to talk and think at the same time, and I just realised I didn't have a clue what I was doing for a moment, and probably still don't. I'm just going around in circles. Um, why am I not seeing this? It's an easy one. Yep, I really can't talk and think at the same time, um, which is unfortunate. I'm just going to reset it, and I hope that helps me get out of this brain block that I've gotten myself into. So you slice it. Ah, uh, you... Slice it, drag it, come that way. Somehow I'm being a complete idiot. I'm just going round in circles. Oh, of course, I know what I'm doing wrong. I am being an idiot. I'm thinking too advanced, or I'm thinking about um, rotation mechanics that come later on. This is just about breaking bonds. And I know it's really frustrating watching people do puzzle games. Um, because sometimes you can just see the answer straight away. There we go. That's more like it. Um, but yeah, I believe somewhere back at the start of this befuddlement, uh, I was going to say I wasn't going to show too much of this because it is all about the learning and discovery and stuff. Uh, I'll just show you a little bit of each of these. Um, this one, you don't really know what's going on until you get in here, but with, as with a lot of them, you just experiment because science and you find out what the little green plus does, which is use up more bonds. Um, but yeah, I love the sound design as well, um, and that's done by Ryan Roth, who if you played Starseed Pilgrim, you'll know the kind of chill, downbeat, amazing music he does. Um, he did the music for the Yorg as well, which is very cool, very beautiful. And there's another game 
that I can never quite remember the name of. Um, that I'm gonna go for Electric Super Joy, um, but the music for that is also by him, but very different. It's very punchy, dancey, in your face, and I like what I've heard of it, but I've not had a chance to play the game yet. So, what was I doing? I was getting into a mess, wasn't I? Because I can't get at that other nitrogen. So, nitrogen. There we go. There we go. So there we go. Not, um, not water, but diazine. Which will react with itself. Which is either unfortunate or very fortunate because you don't need anything else then. Uh, one more green one. Ah, uh, this one. The puzzle solving is very logical, like you often know when you've done something wrong and need to change it, uh, which I really like about it. There we go. Bit of CO2. Um, and a quick look at this one. Rotate, which is fairly self-explanatory. And a lot of the early puzzles were kind of sticking the elements together in the right shape to navigate the level, but now you've got the ability to turn things around, which mixes it up nicely, but also presents other problems. Uh, like you start needing even more spatial awareness, as I found out in this one, because if you're this way up and go over here, you are jammed and there is nothing you can do so you reset and realize you need to be this way up but when you do that you can't fit down there to rotate and you can't get to that either and this one I was stuck on for a while um, but it turns out it actually matters which position you're, the one you're controlling is in. I think I did it kind of by accident last time. So I don't know if I'll be able to recreate it or not. But I need to learn because I imagine the whole blue area is going to hinge around this kind of difficulty later on. There we go. So. There we go. So yeah, that's just a little bit of Soaker Bond. Um, it's out now and it's on sale until the 3rd of September and then it goes to full price. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Um, I think it's just SokerBond.com, but um, I'll, I'll make sure of that. But I definitely, definitely recommend picking it up because it's very cool and I think it'd be really good to have in schools because it teaches kind of logical thinking and puzzles and it's a game so it's interesting and you've got kind of chemistry and puzzle solving and I just think it's a really good way to engage in learning um, and it's a very very long time since I did chemistry but it ignites some old knowledge of mine with with the bonds and things um, so with kids that are actually learning about it at the time it probably make things a lot easier um, but yeah, 
sound, visuals, everything about it really impressed me. And I played for about an hour this morning. Did all of the yellow section and the red section. And then managed to quit. But about 15 minutes later I wanted more and ended up coming straight back in. So it's got a definite, definite draw to it. Um, the only worry I've got is I know I'll hit my mental limit at some point. But if I'm in a puzzle when that happens and I can't beat it, then I could get stuck in the game. Um, but that's my problem. It's just the way I am. Um, but yeah, definitely if you can check this out because it's really, really good. Um, and that's everything from me for now. So, bye.